Jansen Harris here with the Just Good Network. Join with me, 92.9 The Games, Deshaun Tate. Like, comment, subscribe on YouTube, Facebook. Follow us, like us, and Twitter as well. Make sure you do that. Deshaun, let's talk about the Hawks, man. All right. They've been winning recently, scoring a lot of points. Is this actually bad for them? I, I wouldn't go as far as saying that it's it's bad for them. It just kind of depends on what you're looking forward to. A lot of these Hawks are really looking forward to, I guess, uh, a season where they were expected to tank this year and not expected to do as well. Maybe potentially be looking forward to a number one pick, obviously, or number two. You got two of the best players in the country in R.J. Barrett as well as Zion Williamson from Duke. And from that standpoint, obviously, those are the guys that you you know that you want to go for. You're kind of playing yourself out of that position a little bit, but I wouldn't say if that's what your main focus and your aim is, I wouldn't say that that's one of those things that you necessarily uh, are going to be out of hope for, considering the fact that there's a whole nother half of basketball to play on the other side of the NBA All-Star break, and there will be plenty of opportunities for some losses in the event that you're one of those people that are looking forward to such things. Do you feel like tanking is a bad thing? I know a lot of the fan base, they want Mm. Zion Williamson, Mm. And you you probably hear, you hear the fans of the games, you cover them. Mm. Is it bad, the whole tanking situation in the NBA? I mean, it's it, it sounds bad, but one thing I don't think people really realize is that it becomes – it becomes a business at a certain point. Yeah. Once you start getting past the point of being a fan and wanting your team to win, and everybody wants their team to win and go as far as they can go. But from this perspective of the Atlanta Hawks, if you're not playing just necessarily to get into playoff position or to win the whole thing, that's what this is all about, right? To yeah. beat out potentially the Golden win State Warriors on the Western Conference. If you know that you're realistically not in that position or in that place, you'll end up hurting yourself on the back end, uh, not getting an opportunity to get those high draft picks if you will, Uh, and if you know that that's going to be the case, then it's almost like a lose on purpose type thing if there's a such thing. I really hate that there's a such thing because we never grew up that way. You, We all grow up learning to play the game play and to, win the and, game. And to play to win the game. Exactly. Uh, but in this case, like I said, it becomes a business at a certain point and you want to be able to build around the team and the guys that you're putting in to place. And they have a really young team, obviously, led by Trey Young being a rookie guard. You put Zion Williamson with Trey Young and a second year player next year will be a third year player in John Collins. You might really have something cooking Woo. if you choose not to tank and go a different direction, then you could be missing out on a guy like Zion Williamson who could help fill some seats down at State Farm. Speaking of John Collins, Mm -hmm. let's talk about him. Not a lot of people know Mm -hmm. about him nationally, but he's been balling. Mm -hmm. Does he deserve to be an All-Star? Uh, at this point, I think it's really hard to keep him out of that conversation of being an all-star with, with, with looking at what his numbers are right now. Uh, the only thing about that is a lot of that really, you know, it, it relies on the fan votes and how popular, you know, you are of being a, a, a pick to be considered for such things. So uh, realistically, uh, I think that his numbers show that he's good enough. But does he have that popular vote? Is he has he really gained enough recognition as a player? Uh, and then it doesn't probably help that you're playing for the Hawks too and it's almost like (laughs) well somebody has to be putting up those numbers but that's not the case here I mean John Collins is a really good player he's drafted number 19 last year's draft I didn't expect that I didn't expect such things of him Uh, and and he turns out to not just be playing really good last year but also this year after developing much more of a jump shot had a chance to check that out in the summer league out in Utah as well as over in Las Vegas he's really improved in that area in that specific department and he's making a case for himself but uh, unfortunately I think that he would be on the outside looking in however uh may have a better opportunity at that next year hopefully okay thank you thank you jansen harris here with 92.9 the games basketball analyst deshaun tate 